Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I had an order for Paw Patrol birthday stickers. And so I wanted to show you, cause I went and I looked um, on Etsy, you can buy a digital file um, that's kind of prepared already and then you can insert the name and then you go print yourself. But it was expensive. It was maybe about $9 for the digital file, which I thought was bananas because <laughs> you, for $9 you could buy I don't know, three sets of different characters um, for the SVGs. Um, the Paw Patrol one that I bought was $3 and it came with all the different characters, including these two things right here. So I'm gonna show you how to make the stickers. So I always import into Design Space the SVG files, even though I'm gonna be flattening them and doing a print then cut. The reason is because I still wanna make changes to these. I wanna change the colors. I wanna do different things to it. So if you wanna still make changes to it, it is easiest to do it as an SVG file and then make your customizations and then flatten the whole thing, okay? So let's start by, I, I think this is super cute right here. So let's make this bigger just so that we can see what we're dealing with. Um, first thing that I noticed, I don't necessarily like the black. So here's the black layer. Let's see what happens when we change it to like a gray. See, I feel like that looks better, right? Now, um, if you don't like this blue, which I actually like this blue, so it's fine, but you can make all the changes here. So I actually like everything here. Now from the Paw Patrol one though, I wanna bring the paw over. So let's go see what we have. So we wanna ungroup this thing and you can kind of see over here, here's the yellow paw. So let's grab everything that has the paw. So I'm gonna hit the shift key. I'm gonna grab this blue paw. Um, and I think that's all I want. So let's pull that out and see what we have. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Let me undo that for a second. Okay, so let's grab the yellow paw, the blue paw. And let's see if there's anything else from here that we want. I think that's all I want. So I'm gonna group those two things for a second. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Oh, actually though, I do want this little paw thing though that goes with it. Now the paw, the only reason why I want it is because if I'm gonna put this over here, this is, it, it's a blank space, right? Where I can see the paw right here. So let's click on this one. And because we only want the pause. Um, let's hit contour and let's hide all and go over here. If you click on the number, it automatically goes to hundred percent. So what I want is I want this, 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 and this. I don't want this banner right here. And there we go. So here's my paw. And actually, I'm gonna bring this back over. I'm gonna put all this together and I'm gonna always just keep it grouped so that it, when I'm resizing, everything gets resized together, okay? So um, let's make sure that it's right where I want it to be. Right, oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time today. Let's just stay there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna group this for now, okay? All right, so let's bring this over. And I kind of want this big. Okay, so let's see what else do I notice. Um, what I don't like is how there's this empty space right here. So let's go and let's look at this yellow and see what we have. Let's contour and see if there's extra. Sometimes like behind, oh yeah, there is. See, there's this whole thing. So let's click on Okay, so that gives us all that A. Do you see that? Let's click on, oh, what is going on here? I want this A, I want this P. Um, and I need my W, where's my W? Okay, let's see what we have. So we have this. So now it's fuller, so let's click on the paw, arrange, and send to the move backwards let's send to the back and so oh. um what happened here oh I see okay well, hold on let's un let's undo this a few times because I think um, when I was grouping it it contoured everything and that's not what I wanted 
I thought I was doing just a yellow layer. Okay, so let's bring this over here for a second. Let's ungroup it. Let's look at this yellow layer. So I'm gonna click over here, here's my yellow layer, and I'm gonna hit contour and see what I have, yeah. So I want my W, I want my A, oh, I don't want that A, that's the outline. I want this A and I want this P. So now it's a fuller paw, where, oh, hold on, sorry. Let's undo this for a second. It's still grouped, why? <laughs> okay, so, cause it's still grouped. Ungroup it, oops, hold on, geez. Let me undo one more. Okay, here is our Paw Patrol. Okay, let's click on this group. We wanna ungroup it because we only wanna deal with the yellow layer for crying out loud. <laughs> now let's go to contour. Okay, so here's my W, my P, and my A. Okay, now I'm gonna arrange, send to the back. So see, it gave me that fuller look and I don't have that empty space, right? Um, let's say this blue, I wanted a darker blue. I don't like this UCLA Bruin blue. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go to advance and I'm gonna click over here and let's get this to be darker. That's too dark. All right, let's say I want this one, okay? All right, so here's my blue, here's my paw. I want my paw to be maybe like a bright white. So let's click on white. All right, so my paw is now looking pretty good. I'm gonna group it because I want it to move together as one piece and I also wanna resize it as one, okay? So there's that. Um, from this little thing, I think I'm done. I wanted just the paw. So I'm gonna delete that, okay? So let's look at this. Now, we're gonna want some sort of background. So let's do a circle, because most of our stickers are circles. So let's just bring in a circle. And we're gonna make it really big. Ah, undo, sorry. Let me grab my circle, hold on, you know what? I like the way this is all shaped right here. I like the, um, the size, where it is, and everything. So I'm actually gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna group it together so that, again, it's moving together as one piece, okay? So I'm gonna move it over to the side for a second. Um, let's move this to the front, arrange, send to, oh, it is already in the front. So something like that looks pretty good, right? And then we can put the name up here, like, thanks for coming. And then we can put the name in the bone, for instance. And we can always do like little um, circles around it. So, and what I mean by that is, so we like this circle, right? So let's duplicate it. Let's, um, so I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna zoom out just for a second so it's a little bit easier to handle the circles. Okay, so we have two circles of the same size, right? So we're gonna make one a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna grab these two circles and align, I'm gonna center it, and then I'm gonna slice it. And that's gonna give me those little pretty circle borders like this. Okay, and let's say I want another one. Then I'm gonna make another circle a little bit bigger I'm gonna grab these two again. I never do it by hand or just by looking because you can easily click a line and center it and they'll center it automatically for you and then you can slice it. You'll have a perfect ring like this. I'll make this a little bit smaller, let's say. Something like that or maybe a little bit bigger, okay? Now again, you can grab these two circles and align and center it. So that's perfectly centered, okay? Let's get rid of this circle for now. Um, actually, you know what? I do need a circle because I wanna make this whole sticker white. And I want it to, let's see, how big is this? I should have done this. Click on your outer circle, okay? Duplicate it. 
go to contour, hide all. It's gonna give me that big old circle without the empty space in the middle. I'm gonna make it white and arrange, send it to the back. So my sticker is gonna have a background of white like that, okay? So I'm gonna grab these two things, I'm gonna align all my circles. All right, now my slice results, I want them maybe to be, let's see, this one is the inside. Maybe the inside one, I want it to be this dark blue, and then maybe this one, I wanna make it red. Who knows? However you wanna do it. Or maybe even yellow, right? I mean, this, this starts to become whatever your vision is for this. Um, that's looking like, no, I don't like that. Let's do blue. Maybe two shades of blue like that, okay. So let's say you like this so far. Let's put some text around it. So um, let's go to text. Um, I just brought in a font that I think is really cute. It is called, oh man. Um, what was my font name? Pumpkin Jack, there it is. See, I just did it today. That's why I should have remembered it. <laughs> okay, so pumpkin, you know, it's just a cute like, Let's do the name first. So let's do David, for instance. Okay. And then, um, oops, where did it go? Let's go to regular and change it to bold. I also want it maybe in red. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in here. And it's curved just a little bit, right? So I'm gonna go to curve and I'm gonna move it just to give it a little bit of a bend. I don't need a lot. Okay, is it bending? There, okay, that's too much, right? I want just a little bit so it's not straight. Okay, so that looks good to me. And then let's do another one and just say, thanks for coming. I mean, you could write as much. Um, it. This is kind of limited in space, so if you need to make, um, we can easily make the circles bigger. And let's go grab our white circle. So I hit the shift key, and I'm gonna move my face over, oops, so that you can see my whole, my whole panel. Okay, so I have these two selected. I'm gonna scroll down and then hit the shift key and grab my white as well, and I'm going to make it bigger if you wanted more space to write something. Okay, you see how I did that? All right, so thanks for coming. Let's make this um, in red as well. And is it already in bold? Let's see. Yep, it's already in bold. Hold on. So let's put it up here. We want it here and we want it curved, right? So let's hit the curve option. <clears throat> and, okay. I don't love, <coughs> excuse me, I don't love the curved option because I feel like it doesn't always curve the way I want it to, like in the exact shape, but it helps. So thanks for coming. And then maybe down here, um, you can write something else like, um, oh, maybe thanks for coming to my fourth birthday. Okay, so hold on. So let me change that. No exclamation mark there. Thanks for coming. And then I'm gonna do another text box. Uh, thanks for coming to my fourth birthday. Okay, and this one I want also in red. And let's say we put it down here and then we're gonna curve the other way. So we've been going to the right, so let's go to the left and get it to curve under, whoa. Okay, so let's move this down a little bit. 
So you could do something like this, okay? Then when you're all done, what you wanna do is you wanna grab everything and you wanna flatten it. And all of this, do you see how we had all those different lines? You know it's one sticker because look, everything is a one line thing that says flatten. It's gonna cut, well it's gonna print and then it's gonna cut. Okay, right now it's so big. It's big because um, I did it so that we could see what we were looking at. <laughs> Let me zoom in and then we'll do this more at the size that we're norm, like that you would usually see. And I would say, probably around two to two and a half, okay? So let's um, change this to maybe, um, let's do 2.2, .2, just, just to be different, okay? Um, let's go to make it, and what's gonna happen is, let's see how many stickers we can get on one page, okay? So you know we're limited in size, so let's change the stickers up here. Let's do, let's just say we wanna do 12. Let's hit apply and see how many we can get on one page. <clears throat> so I have to say that um, design space is not the most efficient when it comes to moving things together and getting the most out of your paper. So um, let's just see what it gives us. And then we're gonna go back and see if we can make it more. Okay, so it let us do the maximum was eight. Okay, so let's cancel out of this. Okay, so let's bring in a square that we're gonna unlock, okay? We're gonna unlock it because we know that uh, Design Space allows us to do print and cut at 6.75 by eight and a quarter. So here's our little template, okay? Um, there we go. Okay, we're gonna arrange, send it to the back. Okay, so right now, Design Space is telling us we can have eight on a page, right? I think we can do more. Was it eight or six? I think it was eight. Okay. So it looks like I can get three to a row. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, hit the shift key, grab all three. Oh man, it's slowing down on me. Okay, we're gonna duplicate it. Move it down, come on. I mean, if you use other software like, um, you know, you could just print it out on whatever sheet that you have. Whoa, that was weird. What happened? Oh, there, that's weird. All right, so let's hit the shift key and grab another row. Grab the others and then let's duplicate it. Um, you can print this out in any other um, app that you have. If you only want to use Design Space, like for me, I don't, I'm not really good at designing in any other um, program, so I'm gonna just suck it up and you know only print eight sheets to a sticker, eight stickers to a sheet, <laughs> or hopefully in this case I got one more out of it and I'm gonna get nine. But um, if you really don't care, let's say we did something like. This. okay and then I think I can fit two more little little stickers in I mean if you were just if you know if your son wanted extra stickers and you're already doing this let's see if we can fit in two more smaller ones okay but this is really slowing down the system so you can see it's not um, it's not ideal right now. So let me change this to maybe one and a quarter, one and three quarters. See if I can fit two right in here. So we got one extra sticker in. Maybe I can get two mini ones that don't, don't I mean, these don't really count because you weren't gonna use this. I mean, you want all of them to be um, of the same size, right? 
Oh my gosh, come on design space, you're killing me right now. <laughs> okay, so let me move all my I'm just gonna make this one. If I make a copy of this, it's gonna take forever. So let's see if I, yeah. So this one will fit in here as soon as it lets me go up there. And then I'm gonna remove the square, the, the rectangle behind it because we only needed it. Come on, dude, get up a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> a little bit more. You want to make sure that nothing's overlapping because it's going to print out that way and we definitely don't want that. Okay, so we've got our pieces. We know we can fit another one in because this fits, but let's just get rid of our square. So I'm going to delete it. I'm going to grab all of this and attach it. It's so slow on design space. You're killing me. It's not, uh. okay. So I hit attach. I'm waiting for that to happen. And then we'll go to the make it screen and then we're done. But you can see like making stickers can be a lot of fun. You can customize as much as you want, change the colors, add things in. We could have brought in another bone. We could have brought in more paw prints and added paw prints over here. Just change the color, put it on top and you flatten everything. Then it's just going to take all the different layers and make it one layer that's printed. Um, so come on. <laughs> All right, so what would happen is now we go to make it, it should let us print out 11 stickers on the same sheet of paper. So we were able to get really one true sticker more than the previous of just having one. But if you wanted the smaller ones for other things, like just extra stickers that he's gonna put on his shirt or his backpack, you have the sticker space so you can add another one. Um, I always feel like I want that just in case. Um, Oh my gosh, it's really not gonna let me go to the next screen. But you get the idea. So um, that way you can you know, maximize it as much as you can. And um, it's really taking too long. I'm not gonna wait it out. All right, question, comments, post them. Let me know what you think, what other stickers you wanna see. I mean, it's really, I, I have a really fun time designing things because um, I like to pull things from different places and then being able to add it and customize it. I'm not good at coming up with the images myself and designing it, so I like to just pull from different places. And I, that's why I have access, um, Cricut Access membership, because I like having all the images there. What I don't like about Access, the one thing, well, two things. I think the font selection uh, can definitely be better, which is why I have a membership to Creative Fabrica, which is another thing, um, and then two, while I love having those all those images at my disposal, what I don't like is I'm stuck in design space. I can't take those images out into Inkscape to create an offset. So uh, another reason why I like Creative Fabrica is I can get the images from there and then create the offset and then bring it into design space. I know, that's my little spiel. Anyway, if you like Creative uh, Fabrica, you can always try it out for one month. I do have the membership code that I can give you. It's the Useless Crafter 30. It gives you 30% off the membership price, whichever one you choose, um, every month. It's, it, it never ceases. So it's a great deal. I like it. I like not having to um, keep track of which ones I have a commercial license to. Um, and same thing with the fonts. And Font Cloud is free if you don't have it or you don't use it, then you're missing out. So Font Cloud, I have a video tutorial on why you should use it and how to use it. And I'm going to leave it there. It is really, really good. And again, it's free. So create the account through my link because that helps them keep track of my um, presence with you guys. So I really appreciate that. But Font Cloud is free. Um, so check out that tutorial. I will see you next time. All right. Bye, guys.